Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a quick look at this uh, HST set I've got. It's for the HM Her Majesty's Queen Elizabeth II Platinum Jubilee Class 43 HST. And it uh, comes with a rake of eight coaches marked A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Got these off my friend who runs market stalls in the area north of Birmingham. Got these about uh, October. And uh, this is the first opportunity I've had to upload a video on them. You get six coaches uh, TFDs, which are trailer first disabled. You get the running numbers there. A, C, oh, I should say B, B, C, and D. And E, F, and G. And then you get uh, two TCCs, which is a uh, trailer catering coach. And he's a layered A and H. So what I'll do, I'll get uh, one of the TFDs out and one of the TCCs out to show you what they're like. And that's the code of the coach. You see it's TCC. Coach A. They all come with the little goodies bag with the two solid connectors and then you get one of the magnetic Buckeye connectors from Hornby. So I'll just get it out of its size cube to show you. This is the catering coach. It's got LNER markings. The coach is like a, a silvery grey and the uh, blue doors. Sorry, my uh, phone isn't focusing again very well. Turn the flash on. It's ER0052. With the flash on, you can see the seats inside as well. The Platinum, platinum Jubilee. It's not as detailed as the other Mark III's that Hornby's recently brought out. These are sliding door, so they don't have handles. They normally have a button that you press to open. You'll probably find that this one isn't for passenger use. Okay. 
this one will be for passenger use. And the roofs aren't as detailed as well. I've noticed the uh, where they've got the handles on the other Mark Threes. This is just moulded plastic. So they're not as good as the other Mark Threes. To be honest. The bogies aren't detailed the same. But you could always paint them yourself. Do come with metal wheels and like the other ones that the name pocket isn't on the bogey it's on the chassis you do get the uh, the ladders and the electrical connections underneath let's say it's not as detailed as the other mark threes I have noticed as well they haven't got the uh, the cutout area for the lights for the mag light. Right, I'll get the trailer first disabled out now. Again, there's the uh, the description. Trailer first disabled. Again, it comes with the uh, the couplings, the two solid ones and the one magnetic one. So I'll just get it out of its size cube. So this is a trailer first disabled. Again, it's got sliding doors. And this one's ER0062, Coach B. So that's where the disabled people will be located. So they've got uh, connection places for their wheelchairs. Again, the roof detail isn't as good as the new ones because it's just molded. You basically could do a lot of work with these. You could paint the, the yellow bits on the steps there to warn people of the trip hazard. You could paint the, uh, the brake pipe gear on the bogies. There's no, notice there's no warning of overhead pylons like most uh, stock have, so they could be added. And that's the other one, it's... Uh, and then pockets on the the chassis, not the bogey. Come with metal wheels. It's just a pity they haven't got that area to uh, fit the mag lights. Again, it comes with the ladders and the electrical sockets.
So that's quatch uh, B and A connected up together. The way it's probably connected up is, uh, I'll show you just now. You'll probably find it's connected this way, so you'll have the local here, and then you'll have this door that passengers can come in and out of. I'm working along here. This door will be for staff only. and passengers can come out of these doors. That's probably how you will have it. But it could be wrong, it could be the other way around. It might actually be better to have the other way around, the original way I had it. Yeah, this is probably the best way to have it around. That the lo locomotive will be here. And then the passengers won't use this door. And the staff will just bring the, the food and catering stuff in this door. And it's only a short walk for them to where the kitchen is. And then the passengers can go and come on in and out of these doors. I thought with being a disabled, they would have had a bit wider doors. This is where the wheelchairs will be located. So you get six of this coach, the disabled coach. And you get two of the catering coaches. So the two catering coaches got the two ends of the the look the train beside the locomotive. Hi and uh, welcome back. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying thank you to all my new subscribers. I've nearly reached the 700 subscriber mark. Uh, I'm chasing to reach a thousand. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Be much appreciated. Right, today we're going to continue with this uh, review that I'm doing. And we're going to do the Her Majesty's Queen Elizabeth II Platinum Jubilee Class 43 HST set. It's 21 pin and uh, I'll get them out and we'll check what it's like. And that's the info with the number and it's R30215. This isn't a true livery, it's fictitious, but uh, I think it looks quite smart. How oh, it's like in silver grey with the LNER. It comes in the polystyrene that OMB have been using recently. You get the normal book. The information there. Shows the lubrication points. And the dummy Buckeye couplings. And that's where you fit the pipes. If 
you do have them and this model doesn't have the pipes so that uh, isn't needed it's uh, 21 pin decoder it warns you about taking the the body off that there's wires so you have to be very careful and there's four screws to take the body off and you basically wiggle the body and pull it back towards the uh, the rear and it should come out there something about the decoders you need two decoders for this I've got the decoders but uh, I'm yet to fit them I'll be testing it on uh, DC analog today and this is about the fans there's a lot of problems with the fans that the grease that they use is too sticky uh, it's terrible grease so you either have to disconnect them or clean the grease out and put uh, suitable grease in people say it's like a thick uh, what you call the stuff yeah people have described it as a thick Vaseline but if you put uh, gear grease in like silicon grease uh, it should be okay you can turn down the speed or increase the speed of the fans if you really want to do that Then this train comes with lighting and here's the lighting functions. In analog you only get the the white forward and red rear lights. You don't get the cab interior lights, which you can control on DCC. So that's the book that you get. You get a little bag of the the false Buckeye couplings. In the back of this, uh, the locals, you've got holes for your fingers to push them out. They're a bit tight in there. So I'll get them out and uh, have a closer look. And the bottom loco in the pack is the dummy loco. And this is the one I've got out here now. comes with a separately fitted window wiper you have the lights there you have got a bit of a cab interior there Find it difficult for my phone to focus. You got two seats there for the drivers. Uh, I apologize for the shadows, it's quite sunny outside again today, but very, very windy. You get two separately fitted handrails there for the driver. I say the LNER is like 3D printed. Then the number 43022. Again, uh, you've got separately fitted handrail there. The top looks quite smart because there uh, you've got these covers for the fans it's like etched plastic I think it's plastic anyway and you get these grills here as well
I really do like this uh, silvery grey livery with the blue and silver writing. I like the other ones, the, uh, the NEM socket is on the chassis itself, not on the bogies. Got metal wheels. It's quite a lot of under frame detail there as well. Right, I'll get the uh, power car out. The power car is basically the same, but uh, let's say it's uh, power. And this is a power local. And it's got a good weight to it, I'll tell you. It's a good weight in it. So it should pull the. Uh, the eight coaches and the other local no bother. I do like the roof. All these panels are uh, coloured. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit the uh, the Buckeye spare couplings that I've got that I purchased on the local to uh, fit to the coaches. Again, you got one handle at the rear door, and two at the front door, and the separately fitted window wiper. I'll put my flash on so we can see if we can see inside. Yeah, there you go. It's got interior detail. Just a pity it shows the wires. Right, we'll get it uh, moving and show you the lights. And at the front, you get the uh, forward lights. Well, the cab does light up, but you can't control it unless you're on the uh, DCC. Red rear lights. Notice the uh, roof fans don't really spin. Again, I know there's a problem with these roof fans. 
Now it's spinning a little bit. So, I'll get this uh, video edited up and uh, uploaded and hopefully it'll be of some interest to you because I haven't seen this really being reviewed on uh, YouTube. So I'll say bye for now and everyone make sure you take care and like I say thank you for all my new subscribers. It's very very much appreciated. And if you can leave me comments, again, I answer them and it'll be appreciated as well. So bye for now and everyone take care and happy modeling.